Hola, I am Troy and this is my PhD project. Today I am going to talk about my PhD project where I am interested to understand how plants deal with herbivory or insect feeding from epigenetic perspective. Let's think first. What do we do when something dangerous or bad comes to our way? Answer is simple. We move away from it or just find a way to escape it. But imagine being in a situation where you cannot move and dangerous things are coming your way which can harm you or worse eat you. Plants being immobile are always in that position in which they cannot escape environmental extremes. But to survive they have to find a way to be adapted to rapid environmental changes such as insect outbreaks or introduced pests. But have you wondered how? And here epigenetic comes to play a role. Epigenetics refer to modification in gene expression of organisms without altering the genetic code itself. So it is like an added layer or chemical tag on top of genetics that can explain many things such as plant response to different stresses. There are growing evidences which indicate that epigenetic regulation has role in modulating plant response including priming which means the ability of plants to mount improved future defense responses following herbivore, pathogen attack or any exposure to particular environmental conditions. Also, we could say it is like us remembering a pain and getting stronger after we suffered from something. But still, our understanding of epigenetic contribution of plant herbivore interaction is fragmentary. So in this interesting European project called Epidiverse, I am trying to understand the role of DNA methylation, which is one of the epigenetical mechanisms in plant response to herbivory. I am using three diverse wild plants as my study system. It includes an annual plant, biofuel crop, thalaspi, a herbaceous perennial plant, woodland strawberry, and a long-lived woody tree, poplar. For my work, natural insect and simulated herbivory are used as fixed treatments for all the three species to analyze DNA methylation changes. That involves a lot of sequencing data analysis in front of my computer. So I'm hoping this work could highlight the potential of epigenetic diversity in ecological settings as well as provide functional insights into evolutionary implications of plant defense. One quick fact, working in science needs patience and lots of work translate into a new discovery.